called Playing Cards Match. For it, I've got Catherine to perform the trick on. Hi. Catherine, uh, we've got eight playing cards here. We've got the, we'll just deal them out like this. We've got the King of Spades, the Queen of Spades, the King of Clubs, the Queen of Clubs, the King of Diamonds, the Queen of Diamonds, and the Queen of Hearts, the King of Hearts. These are the couple cards. Mm -hmm. okay? It has been told that love can conquer all and they will find each other even when mixed up. Do you believe that? Yes. <laughs> well, we're going to find out. We'll gather up the cards into two piles. And what we're going to do is we're going to basically play a game where I'm going to spell the sentence playing cards match. Mm -hmm. At the end of each word, I'll take the top two cards and place them together down here out of the way. But at any point that you want to say change, I'll stop shuffling one pile and I'll shuffle the other instead. Okay. It makes sense when I start. So choose a colour. Uh, well, choose a suit. Kings or queens? Uh, kings. Kings. So shout out change if you wish to. P L A Y I N G. And I'll take the top two cards and place them together down there out of the way. Uh, which panel am I starting with? Uh, this one. This one? I'm going to spell the word cards. You can shout out change as many times as you want, by the way. C. Change. A R. Change. D. S. And I'll take the top two cards and place them together down here. Match. Which panel? Uh, this one. This one. M. A. Change. T C, H. And we'll take the top two cards and place them together down there. Now the last two cards will obviously go together. Shall we see how well you did? Yeah. We turn over those pair, we've got the both King and Queen of Diamonds. We turn over this pair, let you do it. We've got the King and Queen of Hearts. We turn over this pair, we've got the King and Queen of Clubs. And we turn over that pair, we've got the King and Queen of Spades. You've put all the couples together again. I bet you're happy about that. Yeah. So, would you like to know how this trick is done? Yes. Wonderful. Okay, it just uses any eight cards. I'm using the king and queens because it's perfect for the pattern line, for the story of the trick. The trick itself is, there's a version by Larry Becker called Will the Cards Match, but that uses a different form of phrasing and five pairs, and I found it wasn't, you have to tear out playing cards and all this kind of stuff. So I love this version which I come up with, and it uses the sentence, playing cards match. It's important it be those words because it needs to be 757 seven for the sequence of dealing for this trick to work. 755. Seven, five, five. Seven, five, five. I don't know why I said that. 755. Five. So, all you're going to do is firstly you show the pairs and you're going to pick up the cards, say the queens, so it's um, in any order you wish as long as the other side is in the opposite order. So, if I pick up this side, all I've done is put those in a backwards order. So, this one, you can see the king of spades is on the bottom, but on this pair it's on the top. The king of hearts is third one down, but on this one it's second one down. King of Diamonds is there and there and there. So they're in the opposite reverse order to each other. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now, if we turn the cards over, everything is self-working. There's, there's, it doesn't matter how often you say change. So if you choose a pal, yeah. okay, say this one. So if I was to spell playing, whenever you wish, say change. P, change. L, A, excuse me, Y, I, change. N, G. And now the mathematics of it is, they will always work. There is no other method, everything's going to work from now on. So choose a pair. So if I spell the word cards, C A R D S, you don't need to say change, they're both going to match. So let's try match. So choose a pair. This one. M A T C H. So the, the real secret is basically the sentence playing cards match and that will do all the work for you. Once you've remembered that, you just need any pack of cards and any eight cards from that pack. If you wish, you can do it with business cards. So if you've got eight different business cards, two of each kind, you can mix the business cards together. It's a good trick for trade shows and for large, if you're doing a wedding, for instance, you can do it with pictures of the bride and groom and couples at the wedding. Any eight cards will do as long as they're set in pairs of four. So I'll have you do it. We'll just put the cards straight. First of all, how do you pick up the cards? Uh, we'll pick them up like so, and then this one in the reverse order. That's like it. Like so, and then turn them over. Which set would you like to start? Start with, with this set. And then we'll start um, P. Change. L. A. Y. Change. I. N. Change. G. And then the top two cards. The top two cards. That's the end of the okay. first word. Now the second word. The second word. Uh, that pal. That one. So C A R D 
Strange. S. Well, we're at the end, that's okay. S. Yeah. And we'll start with this pile again. This pile. Uh, M. Change. A. Change. T. Change. C. Change. H. And that's it, the top two cards. Top two, put those together there, and then that'll go together. And now you can just revert, we'll show all the packets, and the spades will match, the hearts will match, the diamonds will match, and the clubs will match. One thing I have learned from doing this trick several times, that was well done by the way, um, is, is the word that they should shout out is change. There's, there's been variations where people have said stop and all this kind of stuff, um, but you don't have to say stop to the, you know, you doing the part of this routine, or stop to you doing the trick because the Fed was seeing magic. So I've learned the best thing to do is have them say change, because that means you're always going to get to the end of the trick without them walking off. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it, it's a great trick, and it's a good one to have in your back pocket for when you're at parties. Enjoy.